In the air like we don't care Virginia, you ain't heard, we don't care Pop Chris drop six with a topless chick Shorty looking at my wrist, what kind of watch is this? Movado, you don't know I spend chips, slide them panties off And get in this whip Alright, all single face, ladies It's time the for the bouquet talk The Red Ball Express got its name From an old railroad term Applied to rail cars that were marked priority With a red dot And so were the trucks this vital supply line was regarded as the largest single trucking operation in military history. Over 8,000 of the Red Ball drivers were black soldiers, and they delivered, whatever the risk. money to buy his mother a house. Is he nuts? Hell, he can barely afford the gas for the Lexus. You see, this is why we need to sign more white rappers. They hate their parents. They don't buy them crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. What you gonna tell London? Man, I wear the pants in this family. I ain't gotta tell her nothing. Besides, she at work, dog. So much just write a note calling me. get the... I thought we had an understanding. We did. I mean, we do. I heard that. Yeah. Have a nice day. Look, he signed the contract. I... Hey, watch the door. He signed the contract. I want to he would talk about things that people would merely dream about. Reginald Lewis made history in 1987 when he bought Beatrice International, a billion dollar food company that spanned the globe. I recall uh, vividly about four o'clock in the morning looking at the brochure describing the 64 companies in 31 countries saying that no one in his right mind would take on that task particularly as we were coming off a very major success uh, not more really than a few weeks earlier the leveraged buyout lewis crafted made headlines it was his tenacity that closed the almost one billion dollar deal with only 15 million dollars of his own money on the line Black men and women have had a proud legacy of service to the military since the time America was only a passionate concept. These brave men and women have served a country that has not always served them in return. Let's meet the black men of the 555th 
Parachute Infantry Battalion, also known as the Triple Nichols. Whew, she's a real beauty, Mr. Martin, Bill Martin. Bill, I can see you're a man of impeccable taste. This model's factory fresh, not a scratch on her. <laughs> Whew, nothing like that new cart smell, Bill. So, what's it gonna take for you to walk out of here with one of these babies today? Well, I could buy it. Oh, let me check with my manager. Everybody had their turn. East Coast came, blew it up. West Coast came, had they run. The South came, had they run and act like they don't want to give it back. Now people want to hear that different sound. Coming from in the South, got a different sound. And it's good music too. Well, I think the first thing we have to say is that there's a sense in which the roots of hip hop are probably Southern. There was a time when New York dominated the landscape. There was a time when the West Coast dominated, and I think it was inevitable that the South was gonna rise up. Don't tell me this is your niece again. I'll help you with the groceries in a minute. Got a girl, got a life, got a pearl, got a ice. I'm the guard, get it right, take it off, hit the lights. All I wanna do is fuck tonight, you heard me? Lost your mind? You have no right to bring these people here. Are you doing this to get back at me? They just chill. Well, I want them out of here now. Now. Let's bounce, y'all.